Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Super 501, and today I want to go over all the new information we got for Borderlands 3 from PAX East, which includes the trailer and all the new information for DLC 2. We got some concept art for DLC 3 and the smallest of teasers for DLC 4. We also got a new roadmap which shows additional content past DLC 2, and that's pretty much all. So, first off, Guns, Love, and Tentacles, the marriage of Wainwright and Hammerlock, which is DLC 2. Very Lovecraft theme. It comes out on March. 26 so a little less than a month from now and as you can see it's very inspired by lovecraft themes it's all tentacly we don't know a ton about this we do know gage is coming back we do know there's going to be a lot of other characters in it i'm assuming since they didn't show any old borderlands like borderlands 1 borderlands 2 characters most likely it's just going to be all the characters from borderlands 3 and then gage there might be some like you know surprise of another older character coming back which would be pretty cool um then past that we are going to a new planets so we do know that and that's pretty much it um from the trailer we do see that it's a ton of new enemies um even if some of them look kind of like other enemies we have in the game they look completely remodeled redone a lot of them look very unique hopefully they have a lot of new abilities so most likely the game the dlc will feel a lot more fresh to play because there's no enemies we've gotten in other games and they all look really unique and new so it won't feel like we're facing the same enemies we've been facing for years or since borderlands 3 came out pass out we don't know much I'm hoping there's going to be like a raid boss or some end game content for us, some new end game systems, something like that to put into it. Um, so the end game gets something new to do. Really hope there's at least a raid boss because we know there's going to be all the new weapons, the new cosmetics, like it says down here, like every DLC we have. And the story most likely be pretty good. DLC 1 was pretty good in that regard. Most of the Borderlands DLCs from all the games have been pretty decent on that side of things. I'm just hoping there's more endgame systems or content to keep the DLC as something we want to keep replaying and keep farming for the stuff. And it just besides the, you know, the new items. Um... So next up, we have the roadmap, which first off is DLC 2, which we just went over. Then in April, we have Mayhem Mode 2.0, which is the complete overhaul of Mayhem Mode, um, which I did go over kind of what is happening. So I'm assuming they're taking out all of the old modifiers because they said they're adding 25 new ones and the old modifiers no one really likes. So wouldn't it make sense for them to redo it and not remove all of those? So I'm assuming they're, they're removing all those. They said there's going to be 10 Mayhem Mode difficulties. So 1 through 10, which is seems much more like something like ARPGs have. Diablo 3 had something almost exactly like this with how many different difficulties it had um, at some point in the game. Um, some of the modifiers they talked about was one was big heads. So everything has really big heads. It makes it much easier to hit um, headshots. But that isn't any just, you know, stat changes what we have now. The other one was the floor's lava. So if you don't move around a lot, it'll just constantly spawn lava under you, which are both much better than all the modifiers we have now. They're just not stat differences or just not damage increases or damage reductions. It's actual game changing, like gameplay changing features. And the headshot one, even if you don't do headshots or have a build that doesn't need to do headshots, it's not going to negatively affect you a ton. And it might change it slightly because maybe now you want to go for more headshots or something. The lava on the ground, you can completely basically not have to worry about it if you just keep moving around it's not going to make you take a ton of more damage it's not going to make enemies deal more damage it's not going to make you re-roll a dozen times to get some massive damage increase so that's a really good change um really excited for that one it also sounds like that every difficulty of the mayhem mode will have specific items for that mayhem difficulty because randy basically talked about that there will be items dropping in the difficulty you're in to help you in the next difficulty. So I'm not certain if there's going to be new items or if it's just um, better items or new items um, to help you get through all the new difficulties. Then next up in April as well, we have a new event, Revenge of the Cartels, a new in-game, free in-game event. We don't really know much about this besides what it says. Take out cartel operatives and earn unique event rewards. I'm hoping this is a longer event like the Halloween event since we have a toggle to turn events off and on now. Um, I'm hoping they do longer events so if people want to keep doing it, keep farming um, the new items in the event. They can keep doing that and people that don't want to deal with the event, you could just turn it off. 
So hopefully it's a longer one with a lot more items, kind of like the Halloween event was. Then in May, we have the Guardian takedown, a new takedown, which is probably what I'm most excited for about all this stuff, besides just the possibilities of new endgame content. This is, the takedowns are pretty much the only true endgame content Borderlands 3 has had so far, and this one sounds pretty cool, so it is the Guardians. Um, it's really Iridian themed, there's new challenge bosses. Um, earn unique gear and cosmetics like the other ones, but it's going to be Iridian themed. We're going to be facing all the guardians. I'm hoping that we're facing these guardians. We face a boss guardian and that somehow we open like a vault that they were protecting and face a vault boss. I think that would be really cool at the end of a takedown. Like we get done with like the raid boss at the end and then a vault just kind of pops out of nowhere and we have to face another boss at the end. I think that'd be really cool. A really cool surprise and a you know, raid boss that's a vault guardian or a vault boss would be really cool as well. So really excited about that. The takedown, the first takedown was really good. At least the first couple times you do it, it was actual challenging end game content, which I hope they have more than just the takedowns for that. Um, next up, DLC three, this is concept art for DLC three right here. And this seems to be people riding animals and fighting each other on the animals so shooting out the back of the animals randy said this would be a really western theme they're already working on this so this seems to be much more set in stone than the teaser we got for dlc4 and there's two things i could think this could be either a brand new system where we like tame animals or something like that and then we can fight off the back of them or most likely it's just going to be we somehow have animals for our vehicle like system in the game you already have vehicles and then you're fighting off the back i don't know why the concept that they showed would be so focused only focused on people shooting off the back of animals if that's not something we'd be able to do in the dlc so most likely there will be some type of mounted combat um which is really cool that's definitely something that would really change up the combat quite a bit um possibly having animals that we can like modify or upgrade in some way and then fight off the back of them instead of having guns on them like vehicles it would be really cool in my opinion and then at dlc4 the only teaser we got is that krieg or craig i don't really know how to pronounce his name um will be in dlc4 possibly because he also kind of gave a caveat that it could change at some point so i guess that's pretty much all we got that there's a possibility of him coming back in dlc4 most likely he'll be there we just don't know anything else past that so that's pretty much all i wanted to go over for the new information like i said um we don't have a ton of specifics for the stuff oh yeah also borderlands 3 is coming to steam on march 13th so if any of you guys haven't gotten the game because you don't want an epic it will be on steam and it will be cross platform between both the pc platforms so both the launchers so epic and steam can still play with each other and that will be before the dlc 2 because the dlc 2 comes at out at the end of march so if you want to get on steam you can get it and still um you know farm the game and get up to the point where you can play the new dlc and everything once it comes out so that's all the information i wanted to go over today it all seems pretty good the only thing i'm hoping for like i said is new end game content to do because after you do the story of the dlcs it's pretty much just that um, than the new items so hopefully there's some new raid bosses some new end game content to do as well so subscribe if you want to see more borderlands 3 content leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about all this new information about the new dlc and everything like that and thanks for watching Activities are quite well in full swing.
could the heart desire. 